didn't have any money to pay anybody, and we had somebody volunteer, um, uh, Amy St. Holtz volunteered, and she served in the uh, sorority house as the house mother, and she went and bought groceries, and that's how she was able to live. I mean, to go from that place where we're two people running this thing, to build this program to this level, it's just, uh, it, it's a lot of work. A lot more than I thought I'd take. Uh, you know, I know the players are really excited about this. I think when you've been doing it as long as I have and you keep dreaming and keep pushing and, and again, wondering if it was ever gonna happen, um, that's where the real satisfaction comes in for me. And I have incredible staff and unbelievable people that I get to work with every day. And it doesn't even feel like work. I get to come and play. And I get to wear my sneakers. What an awesome job that I have in trying to help young people figure things out. You know, these girls have the final exams on Monday, and uh, you know, I was feeling a little bit bad because Caroline Reeves, every time we go out to eat, she's got her books open, and I'm like, I'm surprised she didn't have the books open on the bench when she was sitting down for a couple of seconds there. I think these kids really are really smart, and they do an awesome job in both the classroom and the court. And to do it the right way, you know, we don't we don't bring in people that are bad people that are, you know, thugs. We don't bring in people that are bad students. We bring in people that are great citizens, that are great human beings, that work their tails off, that really want to do well in the classroom and represent Cal Poly first class. And that's what I get to work with every day, and I'm so proud. Okay, we're gonna have two more questions. Go right here in the front row, and then right there, and that's cool. To uh, Ariana and Molly, uh, following along the game on Twitter, I think one of the things that really resonated with people who were watching uh, at home was when, when Kayla went down and Faith completely lost track or ignored what was going on with the game and went straight to to Kayla down on, on the floor. Um, why why are you too maybe not surprised that that you know she was so concerned with the player over the, the what was going on in the game in that moment? Uh, and, and speak to you know, what kind of coach she is in terms of just you know, relating to you two. That's just the type of lady Coach Faith is. She cares about us so, so much. I've never had a coach that cared about us that much. Um, and it was totally understandable for her to run over there and make sure she's okay because she cares about us as human beings, not just her players. So she wants to make sure we're always comfortable, always okay. And I think she'd like give Kayla her, her leg if she could, but it was possible to do so, but um, it was just, I wasn't surprised at all. It's the kind of thing she does, and it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, Coach Faith is basically our mother on the court and off the court. I mean, um, we can tell her everything that we have on her mind, and she'll be there for us. I mean, we have meetings in her office, and she'll, we'll talk about life instead of basketball. So uh, seeing Coach Faith rushing to Kayla is nothing new. I mean, if someone falls in practice, she's always the first one to run to um, that person that fell. So uh, that just shows, like Molly said, she's so caring and such like a mother to us. So I really appreciate Coach Faith. Okay, we're gonna last question. Anyone? All right, we got, there was so, was there somebody in the back? Raise your hand. Okay, then we're gonna wrap it up. If you need something else, Brian Thurman, the SID, extraordinary.